everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a brewery who recently was uh, added to the collection of beers you can get here in Las Vegas. Um, it seems as though we're picking up a few more along the way. Most of them are California based and that stands to reason being uh, basically Vegas is, is considered the ninth island by Hawaiians and LA Junior by Californians. Um, so it, it's not at all surprising that the beers that we're getting are coming from California. Modern Times is one of the breweries that we've uh, finally started getting here. We actually went to a Modern Times uh, uh, tasting, uh, bites and flights, dinner sort of uh, thing, and that was maybe about a month ago. And um, But uh, prior to that, we started to get this uh, new California brewer, I don't think, well, new to us anyway, and that is Bear Republic. And so far, I've had about, oh, maybe six or seven beers from Bear Republic. Um, it's been kind of hit or miss. Some I think are great, some are so-so. Uh, but uh, today's selection is one of my favorite varieties ever, the Double Lot Pilsner. I'm a big, big fan of Pilsner. Uh, this is obviously a German-style Pilsner, and so I did go to BJCP to uh, look up um, the uh, specs for uh, German-style Pilsner. Actually, to hear it says, inspired by perfectly balanced light lager of the Central Europe, brew a Pilsner to be proud of, crisp and refreshing beer, 100% barley malt, and imported Haller Tower hops. Keep cold, respect life, beer is perishable, serve at 40 degrees. Well, yep, this is cold, and uh, just so you know, Bear Republic is out of Healdsburg, California. Not entirely certain where that is, but anyway. Uh, I paid a dollar ninety nine for that twelve ounce bottle. Uh, Five percent ABV puts it a little towards the higher end. Uh, normally pilsners come in between four point four and five point two. They're supposed to be light. That's the deal. They're like uh, um, basically it, it, light beer from Miller, for example, is a pilsner. Uh, they're lighter ales than lagers, and but they are from the lager family. So oftentimes they're uh, they're less in alcohol, less in in uh, calories. They are bottom fermented. Um, they're known for a floral hop aroma. I'm, I'm not familiar with how, uh, what was it again? Haller Tower hops. I don't know about those, but it, if they're uh, if they're typical German hops, they're going to have a little more of a floral scent. Um, Pilsners are. Uh, I'm double checking to make sure I've got all my information because. You know, I, I don't want you to. Uh, I don't want to be lost behind anything. Uh, as I said, pilsners are lagers. They do use lager yeast. They are uh, bottom fermenting. Um, pilsners are known for having uh, lots and lots and lots of carbonation, and somewhere between a straw and a light gold color, with a a big foamy head that usually doesn't go anywhere. So anyway, we got all the specs down. Let's pop this bad boy open using my pop the top opener. Using my Pilsner glass that Nancy got me for Christmas. Let's see what color this pours out, shall we? And this is pouring a very, very, very light straw color. I mean, it is straw, but it's it's a, the light end of straw. Uh, and there we have it. That is, frankly, not as quite as much carbonation as I was expecting from a Pilsner. I mean, it's it's carbonated, but I gotta call that uh, well medium rather than say medium high, or even high, which is what you'd expect from a pilsner. Uh, that white head, however, as you can see, does not appear to be dissipating anytime soon. I do have a fair amount of of uh, carbonation. Maybe I should call that yeah. Medium though is really where I'm gonna stick with that <laughs> in terms of carbonation. There there are usually most pilsners I come across have lots and lots of carbonation. This is actually on the lower end for it. Bringing it in, I get that bready, yeasty, doughy. Uh, smells like a bakery just before um, they open, before they turn on the ovens. Sort of smell. I'm not getting so much the floral that I was expecting from these hops, but I'm not, as I said, I'm not familiar with how Haller Tower hops. Uh, well, it's got a. I'm going to describe that as a a medium. Medium mouthfeel. So medium carbonation and medium mouthfeel is how I would best describe this. <coughs> Not the slightest bit of bitterness or um, alcohol burn. Uh, 
clean and refreshing dry finish like you would expect from a Pilsner with its multi uh, maltiness. Just to let you know, I did go to Untapped. I discovered that 10 of my friends have given this a 3.35, and just over 7,000 of us have given it a 3.46. So it's still not coming in at 3.5, uh, which frankly doesn't surprise me. This is not a bad beer, but this is not, as a Pilsner lover, this is not a Pilsner lover's IPA, or a <laughs> Pilsner lover's IPA. This is not a Pilsner lover's Pilsner. It's good, don't get me wrong. I'm going to give it a 3.5, but for me to give a Pilsner anything that low, honestly, it's, as I said, it's not bad. It's just not particularly noteworthy. Um, <clears throat> I can certainly find better Pilsners uh, than this. Who you call him, Lissy? Probably one of my favorite uh, Pilsners of all time. Um. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is okay. It, it it's okay. Uh, it's um. Uh, as I said, I've I've had better Pilsners and I've had Pils Pilsners with more flavor and more body than this. Uh, this is very clean and light. But not exactly knocking me over with flavor. So, until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.